Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this live stream video, I'm going to be going over the new Adobe app that's been announced called Project Rush. So it's not out yet. This is just a sneak peek preview of something they're working on, and they just announced it to go along with VidCon and uh, talk about what's coming up because this is an app that seems to be intended at the more um, modern online content creator, like a YouTube creator or someone that needs to edit cross-platform on mobile, iPad, iPhone, or Android, or desktop, and kind of sync between the two, and is more interested in making online content. So I'm going to go over the little press PowerPoint that they did, and also the blog post, and uh, just kind of show you guys what sneak peeks they showed me, and get your opinion and see what you guys think about it as well. So this is the blog post. This is the press release. Let's get started. So first of all, it says introducing Project Rush. This is the logo. It looks like a blueprint sketch type of thing. Um, Project Rush, the name intends speed, efficiency, I suppose. So it says, you know Adobe, all these powerful apps you know that professionals use. It's saying growth in online video is accelerating rapidly. Professionals are looking to do results quickly on any device and tell a story in an engaging way. And it's showing all these examples of, like I said, YouTube creators or people making stuff online, like cooking shows or different channels. And so their new app that they announced for this is Project Rush. And you can see on this screen, it says Project Rush is the first all-in-one cross-device video editing app that makes creating and sharing online content easier than ever. And you can see they're displaying it on several different screens. So it's kind of giving me that i iMovie or, or iMovie vibe on the iPhone. I never really used it too much, but a lot of people ask me in my tutorials if is there a way to do this on the phone? Is there a way to do this on the phone? And this might be a more simple way to just cut together quick projects if you do happen to be limited to your phone and share right from there. Um, it so it shows that the the UX is reimagined. It's a more flexible. It seems to be a little bit more simple. Um, it's aimed to be more like you, not as much of a learning curve, whereas perhaps it might not have as much depth as a program like Premiere Pro or After Effects. But it claims to be synced with you know motion graphic templates, essential graphics, all that stuff that we've been seeing. That's in the new updates of Adobe Premiere. Uh, and they also boast that it's going to be easy to share from Rush to social, like YouTube in particular. So I don't have the demo here, but if I head over to the blog post, we can see a little bit of a look of somebody using it on their phone. Um, you know, it's it's more touch. It's it's supposed to be more intuitive. But again, this reiterates the changing landscape of online video. And these bullet points state, you know, you're busy. You know, you don't have much time. You're a real person. It's not perfect professional like television. Uh, it's not just about editing. It's about storytelling and many tools. So these are kind of some of the things that they're aiming to do. Again, uh, this is not out yet, so I haven't had a chance to play around with it, but it looks interesting. Um, I could I could definitely see a mobile or iPad friendly app being useful for many people. Um, the way that the editing system works from the small demonstration that I did see and I apologize that I can't, I don't have that on hand to show you, is that all of your project media gets laid out on the timeline and you go through and cut out what you want and then you can pick through different templates for titles and things like that. So it'd be interesting to see how this works and if it does serve a different market from people who might not want Adobe Premiere Pro and might just want something simple. I'm not sure. I believe that they are going to be releasing it 
within the entire Creative Cloud package included or including a separate Project Rush choice like they do for Photoshop or any of the apps. So right now there is a link to apply to test the beta. I have done that, so if I do get access to the beta, I'll probably do another stream or video and show you guys. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media, especially Instagram and Twitter at Justin OD Show. I will keep you guys updated as I get them. But yeah, this looks interesting to say the least. It'd be, I mean, it's interesting to see that they're giving a priority or at least understanding this new segment of the market that's coming up, uh, mobile video creators. I personally, you know, I'm pretty proficient with Premiere and I'm not usually needing to work on my phone too much. So I'll probably end up still, you know, hopping into Photoshop, hopping into Premiere, After Effects to do most of my stuff. But this might be an interesting addition. So I think that's all of the information I have about this right now. I'll put up a couple more pictures on the screen that they that they launched to give you guys a little better look at the UX. So here's a picture of what it might look like on a phone screen. You can see kind of what the layout might look like. It's very familiar to Premiere, but we have different things on the bottom that seem more like an Instagram filter, like color, uh, transitions, audio. It seems like a little bit more drag and droppy. And uh, I don't know if too many people out there want to edit on iPads and things like that, but it seems like whatever you do on your phone, if you switch over to your iPad or whatever you do on your desktop, if you need to switch over your to your phone, it remembers where you are in the project and syncs up kind of like with the Creative Cloud library. So that's Project Rush. That's all I know about it right now um, from the, the meetings. So leave me a comment, send me a message. Let me know what you guys think about it. Follow me on Instagram at Justin OD Show, best place to reach out to me. If you guys enjoyed this little live stream, leave a like on it below. The replay will be going up on my channel if you caught it halfway through. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.